In this video, we will be describing the Citation XL Series Environmental Control Unit function and some common troubleshooting procedures for it. The Environmental Control Unit components consist of a primary and secondary heat exchanger unit, an air cycle machine, a water separator, an over-temperature protection system, and a low-temperature protection system. The Environmental Control Unit heat exchanger takes the hot bleed air from the engines or APU and through a two-stage air-to-air heat exchanging process cools the air for proper air cycle machine operation. The cooling air for the heat exchanger operation is supplied by ram air ducts located on either side of the dorsal fin and exits on the right-hand side of the tail cone directly aft of the right-hand pylon. The dorsal fin ram air inlets and ductwork as well as the environmental control unit exhaust ductwork should be free of any obstructions to ensure proper cooling airflow. During ground operation, a fan driven by the air cycle machine turbine is utilized to move the air across the heat exchangers. A dirty or blocked heat exchanger can reduce cooling function due to reduced airflow across the heat exchangers. Honeywell has a service information letter that outlines the cleaning procedure for the heat exchanger assembly if it is found to be dirty or blocked. The air cycle machine consists of a compressor, a turbine, and a fan, which all ride on a common shaft that utilizes air bearings therefore eliminating the need for lubricating oil. The air cycle machine is a sealed unit and the only field maintenance for troubleshooting this unit is an air bearing torque check outlined in a Honeywell service information letter. The water separator is located downstream of the air cycle machine outlet. It utilizes a coalescer sock to wick the moisture out of the airstream. An environmental control unit aspirator tube creates a suction that collects the water from the separator and sprays it across the secondary heat exchanger cooling fins to aid in the cooling function. A spring-loaded poppet style relief valve is utilized to prevent air starvation to the cabin and cockpit in the event of the coalescer sock becoming blocked or frozen over. The air cycle machine over temperature system utilizes a switch located between the primary and secondary heat exchangers that activates at 420 plus or minus 10 degrees and deactivates at 380 degrees. When the over-temperature switch senses an overheat condition, a signal is sent to cut off all bleed air to the environmental control unit, therefore closing the APU bleed valve and both bi-level flow control valves. To ensure pressurization airflow to the cabin, earlier XL and XLS units would automatically activate the emergency pressurization system. Units 5603 and on, and units prior to 5603 incorporating Service Bolton 560XL2119, were changed so that the emergency pressurization will only activate if the aircraft is above 14,500 feet. Earlier air cycle machine over temperature switch part numbers 927-223-2-1 and 927-223-2-2 were known to give false ACM over temperature enunciations and have been superseded by the 927-223-2-3. Cessna service letter 560XL Dash 21 dash 12 was introduced in June of 2010 to inform operators of this common failure. A procedure is outlined in the Honeywell part number 2215460 Environmental Control Unit Maintenance Manual section 4 404 to oil bath test the switch. However, if the earlier part number switch is installed, it is recommended to replace with the new style switch. Environmental Control Unit overheat functional test procedures can be found in the Cessna model 560XL. Maintenance Manual, Chapter 215100. In cooler climates, it is possible for the air cycle machine to lower outlet temperatures to a below freezing level. This creates problems with ice formation in the ducting and especially the water separator system. A low temperature sensor located downstream of the water separator gives temperature inputs to the environmental control panel in the cockpit. The control panel then commands a bleed air bypass valve located at the air cycle machine outlet to maintain temperatures in the 35 to 45 degree range. It is possible for the bypass valve to fail or stick. If failure were to happen in the open position, too much hot bleed air would bypass the air cycle machine, raising the outlet temperatures. This can cause the cabin and cockpit to be excessively warm, even with temperature control unit in full cold, and may also cause duct overheat enunciations. If the bypass valve were to fail in the closed position, ice can form in the water separator, blocking the airflow, therefore actuating the poppet-style relief valve in the separator. In this situation, passengers and crew would note pressure bumps and erratic pressurization rate indications on the pressurization controller. The Citation 560XL Maintenance Manual, Chapter 215100, Section 2, Paragraph D, 
outlines the ECU low limit control test procedures. If you have any questions, please contact Team XL at 316-517-1400 or by email at teamxl at txtav.com.